The Fletcher Rule. I speak today of a man on death row, a man known to many as Two Guns. For many, perhaps most, the words death row and the nickname Two Guns are all that needs be said, for taken together they paint a picture tinged with guilt. But this is not that case. Anthony Fletcher is his birth name, and his nickname was his boxing name. The guns, his fists, which took him to the brink of greatness in the ring, where he fought and bested great fighters like Boom Boom Mancini and Livingstone Bramble. Until 1993, when a Philadelphia jury convicted him of shooting a man whom Fletcher claimed was shot in self-defense. Under today's law, Fletcher would have been acquitted if not charged at all, but this was 93. In 2004, a Philadelphia judge granted him a new trial after a pathologist admitted he gave erroneous testimony at his trial as to whether a struggle occurred. In most states, that would have been the end of it, but not in Pennsylvania. In 2007, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court threw out the new trial, used a dubious claim used at the original trial, false, misleading testimony by medical examiner Dr. Ian Hood and reversed the post-conviction judge, reinstating a first-degree murder conviction and a death sentence. Anthony Two Guns Fletcher was sent back to death row. If the mistaken pathologist and a crack-addled so-called witness hadn't presented false, misleading testimony in the first trial, there wouldn't even have been a conviction. But there you are. In Pennsylvania, self-defense isn't self-defense if they don't want it to be. In fact, jailhouse lawyers here think two guns got sent back to death row for the most greasy of reasons. He refused to plead guilty to third-degree murder and thereby allowing the DA to keep an unjust, unreliable conviction from imprisoned nation. This is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.